hey guys welcome back to another video so in today's video we would be discussing about the concepts of gamification in salesforce so basically what is gamification so gamification is the process of using gameplay techniques so that um, your customers are engaged with your websites by means of uh, some engaging and creative content a basic uh, idea for your gamification is in the field of your uh, salesforce trailhead so what does trailhead do is trailhead have certain uh, points uh, after completing those you get a certain badge and there is a sense and feeling of achievement so what you do is you are engaged in that and you uh, gain badges you gain recognition so similar uh, kind of process or that process uh, if we have to enable in salesforce uh, for our communities for our customers how to do that we would be discussing in this video so what we would do is we will navigate to setup and we would search in all sites if you are not having any all sites created you need to first create that one so uh, you could watch our any previous videos for that purpose so for this purpose i have created a separate digital experience by the name gamification and i would be navigating to the workspace section for this so till then it is loading uh, we would be understanding the important pillars of gamification so gamification is having a three main pillars that is your rewards the badges as well as the leaderboards so when you click on this gamification icon so see gamification is disabled and there is no way we could enable it from here right so what we would be doing is we would first navigate to salesforce classic because the setting is available in classic and navigate to setup and in here you would search for wdc and when you click on this you would enable uh, the thanks setting and click on save so as i was telling is uh, when uh, our uh, gamification is enabled we have an option for rewards badges as well as leaderboards so we have enabled our gamification so uh, uh, see these are our recognition badges these are our missions so recognition badges is uh, recognizing a person for their efforts either it could be a welcome uh, badge it could be a congratulations badge a nice work badge or a thanks badge that could be shared across multiple community users okay thereafter comes your mission badges so mission badges are like your trailhead uh, badges when you uh, create a certain criteria like uh, uh, when you have 100 points so you get a ranger rank when you have uh, 200 points the rank increases to double star ranger and so all so from here uh, you could create those kind of badges so let's go and see how to create a badge so i'm giving new badge i'm writing this post creation badge and the description would be the same activity is write a post and threshold is one okay so in order to create this one see we are not getting any setting right any option to save also so first of all you need to uh, create a badge for this purpose because no mission badges are present by default right you need to click on this mission badge and this active as well so what does this public do is public deals with your uh, external people external people means that a guest users okay so for now i am having this dummy image so whenever any guest user if you are setting your community as public so you could allow this checkbox uh, so what it does is uh, it allows guest users to also see the badges given to particular users so post badge so our post badge is created and navigate back to builder so in builder we would be understanding what are the settings uh, 
that are in here for our badges so we are in here and if we search over the components so we could see uh, this gamification component in here this is the recognition badges and the reputation leaderboard so what needs to be done is you could drag and drop this leaderboard uh, down in here where it shows the number of users show the user rank and these all uh, depend upon uh, community to community or from requirement to requirement so as per these this is the show user rank this shows the logged in users this is the helpable for the gamification thing and this is the checkbox to exclude internal users so okay and display users by levels and points by topic knowledge points and associated items okay uh, topic knowledge label is knows about so this depends upon you uh, how you are to display uh, this data thereafter there is another option for recognition badges so what we can do is uh, this allows us to give badges to other person also like a thank you badge like okay like you could give it uh, you cannot give a badge to yourself so in this case it's me so that's why and uh, uh, you cannot give this badge to yourself but yeah you could give this to another person so on that on the user that badge would be available so these were the setting for the home page on the user profile page also you could see some settings uh, like this so uh, when your gamification is enabled you would see this influence section and this recognition badge section in here so this influence section tells you about the entire data of your community activity that is how many you are following how many are your followers what is the total number of posts that you have done till now the, any comments and any likes received on your uh, posts or so right so this is in here so what uh, we can do is we could uh, right ask a question and in order to ask this question first we need to have a topic uh, on which this question could be asked so coming back setting this to preview ask a question so we need to enable this for our navigation topic so uh, badge adding this topic as a navigational topic and if we refresh the components what we would be seeing is uh, we if we click on now this ask a question uh, we could choose in here hi and we could ask this question All right so in this way we asked our question and if we navigate to our profile so the associated data or the count uh, gets increased in my uh, influence section also and similar uh, goes the concept for uh, your uh, reputation uh, leaderboard in here so currently uh, I'm, i haven't i haven't set up any other users for that purpose so that's why it's not displaying uh, that much data and this is uh, generatively new uh, all sites so that's why uh, no data is being displayed in here also but yeah after uh, creating mission badges and other uh, things in your org uh, this would work fine for you okay and uh, uh, this was all for your gamifications and uh, uh, there is nothing much in the settings so 
yeah there is just one difference like if you doesn't set this badge to public so your guest users won't be able to uh, see this badge and uh, anyone who is ex having access to the builder uh, could access uh, could get access to your gamification settings and from here they could create uh, the badges also one more thing in here is like uh, what are the things that we could uh, do on this badges so these are the fields that we could have some triggers on our badge object also and the badge received also okay so this is our badge fields like uh, this badge so this is the badge name company name associated data and other things so we could have the some triggers on this also so that is it for your gamification part and if you are having any doubts in this uh, please let me know i would be happy to help and solve your doubts so thanks a lot we would be meeting in the next video Music